يا نفس إن لم تظفري لا تجزعي Who is Allah? We want to refresh our Iman. We want to be attached to our Creator. We want to fear nobody but Him. We want to please none other than Him. So who is Allah? Come with me to Surah Al-Hadid, chapter 57 of the Quran, where Allah, He says, introducing Himself to us. Lahu mulku samawati wal ard. He is Allah who has the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Yuhyi wa yumeet, he alone is the one who gives life and death. Wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer, and he is able to do whatever he wishes. Yusabbihu lahu ma fi samawati wal ardi, wa huwa al-aziz al-hakim. Everything in the heavens and the earth glorify Allah, and he is the most mighty, the most wise. Ya Allah, hal ta'lamu lahu samiyah? Do you know anybody who shares even one of these characteristics with Allah? Who is Allah? Come with me to chapter 6 of the Quran, Surah Al An'am. Allah says, وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُ He has the keys to the unseen. No one knows them except Him. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ And He knows everything that is on land and everything that is within the sea. وَمَا تَسْقُطُ مِنْ وَرَقَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا And there isn't a single leaf that falls from any tree except that Allah has knowledge of it. وَلَا حَبَّةٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْأَرْضِ And there isn't even a grain within the darknesses of the land. وَلَا رَطُبٍ وَلَا يَابِسٍ Nor is there anything moist or anything that is solid. إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُبِينٍ Except that Allah has knowledge of it, it is written within a clear record. La ilaha illallah. We bring to your attention, dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the description of just one of Allah Almighty's creation. He is an angel, the chief of the angels, Angel Jibra'il alayhi salatu wasalam. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam saw him in his true angelic form. Ahmad narrates in his Musnad that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the companion, he said, رَأَى رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ جِبْرِيلَ فِي صُورَتِهِ رَأَى رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ جِبْرِيلَ عَلَى صُورَتِهِ لَهُ سِتُّ مِئَةِ جَنَاحٍ كُلُّ جَنَاحٍ مِنْهَا قَدْ سَدَّ الْأُفُقِ يَسْقُطُ مِنْ جَنَاحِهِ مِنَ التَّهَاوِيلِ وَالدُّرِّ وَالْيَاقُوتِ مَ he says the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw Angel Jibreel in his true angelic form. And he had no less than 600 wings. And every one of those wings was huge enough to fill the horizon and cover the skies. One wing spread out covers every cloud, covers every star, covers the sun and the moon, covers every inch of that blue sky that we see. One wing. What then can you make of 600 wings? And if this is the majesty of just one of Allah Almighty's creation, what then can you make of the beauty and the majesty of the Creator Himself? La ilaha illallah. I bring to your attention, dear brothers and sisters, yet a second creation from Allah Almighty. This is the description of one of the angels who are carrying the throne of Allah. Abi Dawood narrates in his Sunan on the authority of Jabir that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أُذِنَ لِي أَنْ أُحَدِّثَ عَنْ مَلَكٍ مِنْ مَلَائِكَةِ اللَّهِ مِنْ حَمَلَةِ الْعَرْشِ مَا بَيْنَ شَحْمَةِ أُذُنِهِ وَعَاتِقِهِ مَسِيرَةُ سَبْعِمِئَةِ عَامِ He said عليه الصلاة والسلام Allah has given me permission to give you, O Muslims, a description of just one of the angels that are carrying the throne of Allah. He said the distance between his earlobe and his shoulder is the distance of 700 years worth of travel. If that is the distance between his ear and his shoulder, a hand span of a distance for us human beings, what then about the size of the rest of this angel? What then about the enormity of the rest of his body? If this is the size of one of the angels who are carrying the throne of Allah, what then about the enormity of the throne of Allah itself? And if this is the size of the throne of Allah, what then about the Lord, the Lord and the King of the throne? Allah asks, أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَسْجُدُ لَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ 
Don't you see, O people, that everything in the heavens and the earth prostrates to Allah? وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ And so does the sun and so does the moon. وَالنُّجُومُ وَالْجِبَالُ And so do the stars and so do the mountains. وَالشَّجَرُ وَالدَّوَابُ And so do the trees and so do the moving creatures. وَكَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ And so do many people. وَكَثِيرٌ حَقَّ عَلَيْهِ الْعَذَابُ And many people will be punished, Ya Allah. Isn't that amazing? From all of creation that's in existence, they are all in submission, all in sujood to Allah, whether we see it or realize it or not. And the only exception is a minority who happened to be from the weakest of all creation. He is man. He and the jinn, they refuse to prostrate to Allah. بربك الكريم الذي خلقك فسواك فعدلك في أي صورة ما شاء